one. So I'm here at the best pizzeria in all of Florida. Finally got here. It took a little bit. It took a little while. A big shout out to my friend Tim Fish because I've been talking to him about this for a while. And uh, I'm going to show you the food that we got. We kind of got a little extra food just to sample it and try it. We're going to bring it home. But I'll give you a tour of the outside, the inside. The people here are really nice. They're originally from Brooklyn. We have a server. Her name is Mary. She's excellent. We have Curly with us. We're actually sitting on the outdoor veranda because, um, you know, we have Curly with us. And uh, so they welcome him and uh, they gave him water. Really nice. So I'm going to show you the outside. We're in uh, Winter Park, Florida. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. So I'll start off with a little quick little pan of the area, give you an idea. We're actually only about 30 minutes from Disney, um, about 25 minutes, 20 minutes from SeaWorld and Universal. So essentially, if you're familiar with the area, you're going to be taking I-4 up to uh, Princeton Street, which is exit 85. And you're going to get off there and follow, you know, MapQuest or whatever. It's another five minutes off the highway over to Antonella's. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So here's an idea of the outside. You're in a strip mall, and this part of uh, Florida, Winter Park, we're actually north of the airport. So obviously, if you were coming, um, if you were coming from the airport directly here, it'd be a little quicker than going to Disney. But it is really, really nice. It's very quaint around here. Um, it's kind of like you'd never realize that the that the theme parks were so close. But anyway, we want to focus on Antonella's today. And really, really nice. Look at this. So we're going to give you an idea of the setup out here. Then I'm going to go inside. And now uh, we got Carrie over here. So, hey, what'd you get there? You got mozzarella sticks, huh? The sauce is really good. You have to try it. It's homemade sauce. They're from Brooklyn. It's delicious. So this is obviously sauce that is not from a can or whatever. This is handmade sauce. You sit down here, the menu is tremendous. It's a real Italian feel, a real Brooklyn pizzeria type of feel. Mm. And, so and importantly too, for those who know and love me, it is a Coca-Cola place. So I'm gonna dig into some mozzarella sticks and I'm tell you what I think. So like I was telling you before, we ordered extra stuff we're gonna bring it home for dinner mm. or lunch tomorrow, or whatever. We don't do nothing. Kerry got a salad. You do nothing small except the tabletops? Yeah, we do nothing small around here except for our tabletops. So small. this is Mary. Mary, can you tell us a little bit about the restaurant and a little bit of history? We've been here five years now. Um, it's owned by Antonella and Frank. They've owned other restaurants in the past. Uh, their parents came from New York with them. They own restaurants as well. And we just opened up a second location today on University and Goldenrod. It was their, their soft opening today. Is that in the UCF? Yes, it is. It's awesome. Wholesale. All right. And the grand opening is going to be March the 2nd. Sounds good. Looks like we got to try that one, too. Absolutely. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Right. You Thank you. Enjoy. You're very Hi, everyone. This is really good. You have to come to Winter Park. I'm coming back here. Good salad? This is really good. So, mozzarella stick. Um, I'm looking at the menu here. I kept the menu. Just to give you an idea, I'm not going to show you the whole. It's a huge menu. And... I'll give another shout out to two of our ambassadors, Alyssa and Lauren, out in uh, out in New York and Yonkers. And hi to they, Sam. And hi to Sam and Lorraine and everyone out there. But uh, they do gluten free. They do vegetarian. And uh, so shout out to my sister Diane as well. It's a place you could come. They do all kinds of. Uh, they they're very conscious of the menu, and these are folks who actually own different restaurants and have a lot of experience. So. We're going to continue on here. I'm going to put my mask on. I'm going to go inside, show you guys the inside of the place. So just to give you an idea right here, these are their hours. They're closed on Monday, so don't come on Monday. And so it's uh, this is your address 360. Very, very nice feel. Very, very nice feel. Really nice. Look at that. Got some music going on. Hello. How you doing? Oh, my God. New York pizza. I love it. Awesome, this is you got your Bianca slice, spinach and tomato slice, there's your cheese pizza slice. Look at that Coke bottle with Antonella's, I love it. Just a really, really beautiful place. Small and cozy. Small and cozy, that's the way to, that's the way to go. 
And then like every good place, they have all the pictures on the wall of all famous people who've been here and family members. Oh my, amazing. And here we got in Antonella's Pizzeria. Really beautiful. And here you have all your pizza, all the uh, tools of the trade, all the things that they use. Amazing. So here we have perfection. This is a normal cheese slice. It's a big, big slice. Give you an idea. That's my Coke next to it. And look at this. We got the Sicilian slice. Holy cow. This is just a different take. It's square. It's the square, but it's kind of rectangular. It's more rectangular than square. So let me bite into this and give you an idea. So this is true Brooklyn New York pizza. It's thin crust, has the exact taste of a Brooklyn pizza or a Manhattan pizza. It is amazing. Look at this. Something you really can't find in Florida, folks. This is the place. Absolutely. This is the place at the end of the rainbow. It is really good. Is that the closest thing to New York pizza here or what? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's good. Look at that. How about the square? Look at that. The square is definitely good, but this pizza here, the regular traditional slice, is definitely the way to go. Thin, not too overdone, beautiful, perfection. I also got a chicken parmesan hero, because like I told you, we're gonna be bringing a lot of this stuff home, but it is amazing. Look at that. And Carrie decided to get, so I'm sure she's gonna be bringing this home too. Chicken parmesan. And that's an entree. That comes with the spaghetti, but she you know, got the salad with that as well. And uh, she's really enjoying it. Very good. So the hero, really, really good as well. But I'll tell you folks, as amazing as everything is, I'm just, I'm, I'm totally in love with the regular pizza mm -hmm. because you cannot find this in all of Florida. A lot of people say they have it. A lot of people say New York taste. This is really a New York pizza. If you're looking for a real New York pizza, Calm and you're down. willing to drive 30 minutes out of Disney or SeaWorld, this is the thing. This is the one. Antonella's. No, not, nothing even comes close in all of Florida. So we didn't get a chance to show you Curly yet. Curly's actually eating the chicken. And of course, Curly is part of the family. He's our Bichon Frise, and he goes with us everywhere. He's a wonderful guy, so we just wanted to show him real. Folks, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and do yourself a favor. Come on down to Antonella's. It's a family place. They'll treat you right. Amazing food. Like I said, great people. And uh, once again, folks, uh, just to remind you, uh, we run uh, the Waffles Foundation. Uh, we donate musical instruments to kids who can't afford to play. So if you'd like to donate, we're available on uh, Venmo and PayPal, Waffles Foundation, Inc., and uh, saving lives through music one note at a time. We lost our son, Matt, he was a musician a year and a half ago. We missed him desperately. Wish he was here to break bread with me, but I know I'll see him again because he's with me all the time. So love you guys, I appreciate you watching, and um, take care of yourself. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye, folks.